Hello everybody and welcome again to Country Boy Cook or Marshall. Lord, we got you one today that's gonna be interesting. Y'all, I've got my cousin Gary Woods right here. He's a beekeeper. We're fishing big going down to his bee yard and he's gonna show us how to do it. Gary, what are you gonna show us today? Well, we're gonna go over a few things. Uh, we're gonna look for a queen. That's one thing we're gonna do. We're gonna fire up the smoker. I'm um, gonna we'll show you the difference between a super and then the hive body. Super's where we get our honey, extract mm -hmm. it from. Uh, the good old yummy honey. Yeah, maybe let them see you get stung and show them what to do about that. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best to get stung. If we can get stung, I'll show you what to do hey, when you uh, get a sting, stinger in you. This guy right here has been stung enough time for all of us. Believe me, they don't even really bother him. Daily basis. Y'all stay tuned to this one. It's going to be very fun, very interesting. Get the smoker going, making sure we got plenty of smoke. Okay, That's what calms one, the bees. What, what does the smoke do? It helps. It calms the bees. Okay. Put that on there. All right, this part down here, this main part down here, it's what we call the hive body. Okay. Uh, that's where the queen stays. In between right here, we've got a queen excluder. Keep the queen from coming up here laying eggs in our honey. They draw their comb out on, it's what we call a frame. See, that? see all those cells like that, it's yeah. a plastic frame. They'll yeah. draw comb out on it. Let's see if we got okay. some fresh comb down in here. So the bees didn't do that, that's plastic. Yes, mm -hmm. let's see here. Here's one. Look at this new comb that they're drawing out right here. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see that. That's gorgeous. See how they're bringing it out right here, everybody? Right All right, look in there. It's not capped. Look at that crystal clear honey. Can you see that? Yeah, I can. That is good. Here we go. Aaron, take your, take your finger and dip down in there and try that. Tell us how good it is. Mm -mm -mm. That's some That's good stuff, man. Good. Your turn. Oh, my bee got close. Look at that, y'all. That's a lot better than the supermarket. Mm. Mm. That's a good stuff. No style. comparison. This is pure raw honey. Uh, bring you, bring it right over here, and you can see the queen excluder down in there. That's what keeps oh, the queen. See. see it right down in here. Mm -hmm. She can't come up in there to lay mm, Nope. It's pure honey up in there. I yep. got you. We don't want her up in the super. We'll get this one and close it back up. Let's go in this. This is a swarm I caught two weeks ago. What we're doing here, we're going in and checking to see if the queen's laying eggs. Um, okay. See if we have brood. And when they swarm, that's part of the reproduction. That's how they reproduce. Let's get one out right here. That way we can bring them over. See, this is a hive body here now. See how much bigger these frames are? Yeah, I see that. And see, they're wax coated. Okay. That helps them draw it out. Right here, we got some fresh comb where they've been drawing it. There's nothing more beautiful than fresh comb. Let's draw, look at that. Look at that, they make it exactly according to the plastic right there, don't they? Yep. Look at that, y'all. By the way, I am winging this, y'all. Nothing on. Here's your pollen. That's what oh, they I feed their babies with. It shows with. up good on camera. Mm-hmm. So that's where they're storing the pollen, okay? Yep. That's bee food for the lit little ones. Let's see here. Let's see if we can find a queen. I'm walking here. I'm hearing things. I don't know if y'all can hear them or not, folks. Uh, we got our, lavin our uh, microphones on. Look at the brood, there's all kind of brood down in there. Can you see any of the brood right in the middle of it? Yeah, I can see it. Now, if a bear comes and tears into a hive, I've had one before here, they don't come to tear into them to get the honey. Believe it or not, and no matter what Winnie the Pooh says, they go in and they'll tear it up and get the brood. Let me see if I can get some of them broods there. Y'all see those little little worms down in them cells? Oh yeah, I see them. Them little worms, y'all, that's little bees. Now that's, this one's got a lot on it. I'm looking for a queen. We'll see if we can't find her. Is that her right there? Yeah, that's her. Oh, can you? Let me, let me get it here. Where'd she go? 
she's a darker queen and they're harder to spot. I spot her because she's longer than the rest of the babies. Yeah, she is. Let's see if we can brush some of these back. We got a hound dog over. Make sure she didn't cross to go on the other side. We may have to go in that other one over there. Cause she is a darker queen. Look how I'm communicating there, y'all. We put her back, we'll go into a different one. All right. We are back in the country, everybody. We got hound dogs, chickens, bees. I can't think of a thing wrong with that. Uh oh, that look good. All right, we're looking for a queen. I gotta get the smoke out of my face. Look at that, y'all. He's looking for the queen. Gary, what makes this bee so gentle? They take on the nature of the queen. We've got a, when they're gentle like this, you have a gentle queen. You know what's amazing about it? What's that? Here's the queen. There awesome. she is. There she is, y'all see her? He's pointing right at her. The thing about the queens, taking on the nature of the queen, um, you know, you've got mean hives, you've got aggressive hives, you got bees crawling all over you, which is fun all over your legs. If you don't have them all <laughs> over your legs, it's no fun going into a beehive. <laughs> but the reason that these bees are gentle is because the queen's gentle. Boy, she's just beautiful. Where's she at again? Right there, she's just gorgeous. She's a big old Italian queen. Because the queen is gentle. The amazing thing about these, if we got a mean, aggressive hive, you open it up, the bees are popping you. Uh, they're all over you way more aggressive there's a um there's a way to stop that how oh. you go in you find the queen you pinch the queen's head let her die you introduce a new queen and if that new queen is a gentle queen instantly all the bees in the beehive become more gentle now trays over i just took flight <laughs> you get stung yeah. <laughs> they get you We'll show them here in a minute uh, what, it's, uh, what you do when you do get stung. But you just pinch the queen's, going back to the, um, yeah. the bees, you pinch the queen's head um, and let her die. You introduce a new queen. That new queen is gentle. Instantly the bees become gentle. It's what they do is take on the nature of the queen. Um, you know, that tells a story of the way we should take on the nature of Jesus. Um, Yeah, just out here, like his followers, you're right. I mean, yep, you take on, um, if you do like the bees, do with their queen, with Jesus, then you will take on his na nature and become a lot more like him. I got you. That's a good way of saying it. We'll put these back. That's a real good way of saying it. And I tell you what we need to do, if I can get one of these bees to sting me, We'll okay. show you what to do if you get stung. Here we go. Is Thanks, she's starting to sting. Yep. See there? You see that little pollen sac? Yeah, it's sitting there pumping vent, the poison in me, the ven bee venom so in me. Get that. Look at that, y'all. The biggest mistake everyone makes is whenever the stinger's left in them, is they'll take it. The first instinct is grab it, squeeze it, and pull it out. That's the wrong thing to do if you have a, if you get stung or have a loved one or a little one get stung, you take and you scrape it. Scrape it. So off, you're, okay. And all the, uh, you get less venom that way, okay. less pain, less swelling, and that's the way it works. There we go. We cover it back up. Let them go collect that honey. All right. It's that time of the year. Now, how long uh, do you think it'll be to where you can harvest some of this honey? 
third week in June is normally whenever I take mine. About okay. the third week in June. Yeah, we'll let y'all see what it's, the sound is like inside of the hive. Okay, everybody, there it was. I hope you learned something. I hope it's interesting to you. Gary, any final thoughts? Anything about the bees? I hope you did? enjoyed it. That's, that's that's one thing. And and if you're able, get you some bees. Get you some bees, y'all. Hey, I'll I tell you what. what? Um, whenever we go to extract in about the third week in June, you want to show them how to extract honey, how we get it? Would y'all like to see how to extract honey straight from the, from the beehive? From the hive to the bottle. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. It's done. Hey. Deal. Deal. We'll see you soon when Gary extracts the honey. When did you say June? About the third week in June. About the third week in June, we'll have a part two of this series. Thank y'all for watching, everybody, on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. Have a blessed day.